Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Hope you're doing great. Today is hopefully now the final video on this camera class, so you should have a fully functioning camera after this. Um, but before we get started, please check out the description box. You got a bunch of useful links as always down there um, all to all my playlists, my Twitter. You can follow me on there, Discord. Got a little community, you can join, ask questions and stuff. Um, also my support page, please check that out. Uh, drop a like subscribe if you want otherwise let's just keep going here so basically what we want to do is I don't remember if I, I told you just include camera H here we didn't create a camera yet so let's just create a camera camera alright so I'm gonna start this video off by just initializing the camera basically and then we'll fill in the last stuff that's left in camera.h um, so what we want to do is hopefully we talked about the keyboard input and everything and how that's gonna work uh, remove this um, rotating thingy right now for now uh, let's just go in here uh, let's see let's do this camera dot update input right in there and we're gonna have to send in DT minus one because we're not doing all the keyboard stuff right now we'll probably do that a little later this mouse offset X this mouse offset Y so there we go that's the two things and now we'll be able to update the camera input another thing that's important is to actually initialize the camera so since we don't have a default constructor for it we're gonna have to do it down here in the uh, initializer list so let's just start off so the way we initialize the camera is if we look at the constructor we need the position direction and the world up all right and that's exactly what I'm gonna give it so GLM vec3 the position 0.f 0.f 1.f to move it back remember one positive is towards you negative is uh, in towards the camera so there you go or in towards the scene and then we're gonna have to give it the direction um, and this is also gonna be the same thing let's see here GLM vec3 3, three um, 0.f 0.f, 1.f, and then the world up is going to be GLM vec3. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. 0.f, 1.f, and then 0.f again. So there we go. Now we initialize our camera here. And one more thing we have to do in order for all this to work is so going to update or init uniforms like we did before we removed the updating of the camera position here and everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this completely I'm gonna do this camera dot get view matrix and instead of this I'm gonna do this camera dot get position so boom you got those two things going and you should be fine in the shader and uh, the only thing actually left to do is basically going in here and updating the camera vectors now they might be a little complicated to understand that this is what takes a little time sometimes um, what you have to do is to calculate the three or the front vector so which way you're facing and this will all be dependent on the mouse how you move the mouse right so we use cosine and sine to kind of take the angles that we're moving the mouse and create vectors out of those angles using cosine and sine obviously because they give you back a length for a um, for a beautiful little angle so the the way we're gonna do this we're gonna do this front dot X we're gonna do it in stages so the X variable the X um, direction for the front is gonna be or this coordinate system basically that we were talking about is gonna be the cosine for GLM radians always radians radians for the angle of the yaw the X basically multiplied by the cosine GLM radians this pitch all right so that's the X that's the X done and please check out the learnopengl.com stuff for this and uh, it really explains well why you use the stuff you do use and remember that we want to create a vector so we need these angles in um, in lengths right so from 0 to 1 so that's exactly what we're doing here now for the y we're gonna do a sine because sine is gonna give us the length 
of this this angle take the angle give us a length for the y how much up and y this front vector is going to go and then we're going to use pitch here okay and for the z we're just going to keep it the same just change this to sign okay this is going to be sign because the z the front facing vector for this coordinate system can can kind of tilt in the y direction as well as well as in the x direction so that's why we're using cosine and sine for yaw and pitch okay so there you go that's our camera vectors now what you need to do is this front equals glm normalize this front always normalize your vectors because it can cause trouble later on uh, then we need to calculate this right and that's going to be glm normalize glm cross because you use cross product to get a new vector from two vectors this front this world up so we're kind of going in stages here I'm just gonna copy paste this and the final vector is the up vector so this is the true up vector for the camera these three are the, creating the coordinate system for the whole camera so the up vector is gonna be this right calculate or cross with this front and there you go that's gonna be your um, nice little coordinate system for the camera and that's gonna be used in order to return the front and the up vector here so as you can see the right vector is basically just calculated to calculate the up vector and also to move the camera uh, from left to right so that's basically it for the camera class I hope you can follow through on this uh, let's see if all of this works I'm not sure about the yaw and the pitch stuff yet but we'll see and also the positioning for and the directions for the camera we'll see how that works let's just run this and see what the hell happens I'm not completely sure if this is gonna work um, it did work so oh there you go so we can move the camera around let's just see if we can uh, yeah we can move the camera around without any problems no issues I can't really just uh, move the camera in different directions yet but let's do this let's go ahead whoops let's go ahead in init window let's make it a little bigger so window width I don't really know where I put all those things uh, window width and window height so this is where I create the game in main so maybe I don't know 1600 uh, 10 what do you usually have I don't know 8 60 let's see we'll, we'll just do it 1920 1080 who cares 1080 we'll just do that and also I don't know if I 4.4 is what I'm gonna use you can use something less than this uh, also I don't know if I showed you what I changed in the keyboard input yeah I I changed this so GLF set window should close equals GL true that's how it should be if you want to close the window not the w the way I had it before so that's why I can close the window with, with escape now so just go ahead and check that out um, let's do this so we'll get a huge window here yep a huge window I can move the camera like this now let's just fix the uh, update keyboard input here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually do this uh, let's see let's go into camera.h and let's see where we have our update keyboard input so it's gonna take a direction basically and um, hmm default nothing so how am I gonna do that Boom. usually I would have a move function here a void move function and it will basically do this so uh, let's just take the move function like that and let's copy paste all of this and let's put it there I think I'll, I'll name this move instead and then we'll move it depending on all this stuff here so update keyboard input we can remove that remove that boom and then we'll just use the move thingy in order to move the character around mm, let's see so it'll give us a direction 
and a okay so that's cool let's go into game right here and I, I'll just move the camera so this camera dot move and W would be uh, this DT forward all right and then boom boom and then D C and all this stuff we'll just leave that alone we don't need to do that S is gonna be backward um, this is gonna be left and D is gonna be right so this way we'll be able to move the camera around hopefully let's just try this out let's see if that works and hopefully we'll have a moving camera yep properly moving around now we can't see yeah there you go so you can see how it's kind of moving just the way we want it to and you kind of move up and down you can go below here you can do how whatever you want with this nice little camera class so yeah nice and you just tune around all the sensitivity and stuff if you want and the movement speed in the future I'm gonna kind of fix all that stuff with the gimbal lock when I learn it myself as well might be a good thing to do before I start teaching y'all um, but yeah we can do that we can Im incorporate roll as well also kind of mouse smoothing we can incorporate uh, acceleration and stuff like that it's all just fun stuff we can do later for the camera so uh, this is a very basic camera class and uh, try out the pitches and the yaw and just try to print stuff out try to see how everything works usually that helps in learning and it's a good thing to good thing to do also I'm just gonna go ahead and game that CPP here and I'm gonna kind of uncomment this rotate thing now please comment and ask me if, if I forgot to do something because I'm not sure what I did in these videos um, and if I showed you all the right stuff so just go ahead and comment if you if you're kind of confused but now this works you can rotate around and everything it's pretty nice in the coming videos I'm pr probably gonna create the model class and then we'll have a bunch of models and the camera just moving around so it's gonna be great um, yeah so thanks for sticking with me go ahead and check out the code on github we got a bunch of stuff here this is all the latest code from the previous two videos that I made you can check this out um, also check out the also check which version you're using for OpenGL because a lot of you are having problems don't use 4.4 use like 3.3 .3 or something like that there is a oh is a program called open ex, OpenGL extensions viewer so if you run that it'll actually check out your hardware and tell you which version you're using right now and it's totally dependent on the graphics card driver and which graphics card you have so that's gonna that's gonna decide what OpenGL version you can have eventually um, so it's kinda scanning my system and it's just gonna go ahead in here and it's gonna give me a little box full of information uh, of what I have so it tells me OpenGL version 4.4 so basically that tells me that's the maximum version of OpenGL I can use try to do more than that it's not gonna work so go ahead and put it down a little bit check out your OpenGL version what depending on what graphics card you have and that will help you out so thanks for sticking with me hope everything worked out for you in this camera class tutorial series um, and yeah check out the description box got a bunch of useful links as well check out my Twitter discord all that drop a like subscribe if you like the stuff otherwise I'll see you guys and girls in the next one alright bye bye